Welcome to the conclusion video of the Contra at Speed series. Now we've spent the past four months working through every stage to figure out just how fast we can beat them. From jungle to alien lair we have used every strat we know. We've button mashed as hard as our fingers can handle and we've killed as many trolls along the way as we possibly can because, well, they're trolls. But now it's time to put it all together. It's time to answer the most important question in this entire series. What is the fastest that we can beat Contra? Before we start, I want to make three things clear. The whole idea when I started this video series was to find out how fast a human being can finish this game. Now I'll make that distinction because there are things that only a task can do. Throughout this series, we have been following the timing rules as dictated by speedrun.com. Now this means that the timer starts as soon as the player's lives appear on the screen in jungle and it ends as soon as the player loses control at the end of the final stage. Each stage in the series was timed using the same principle. Despite my hard work and good intentions, there are a handful of time saves that I missed. Now in most cases, we are only talking about a few frames here and there, but in the interest of precision, I feel that I must include them in the final time. All of the time saves I'm going to be talking about in this video were brought to my attention by top runners in the Contra Discord, and I'm very grateful for all the inputs I have received. Now with all of that out the way, let's go through this run. I initially calculated the fastest time for jungle to be 56.01 seconds. In fact, I went as far as to say that 55 seconds was impossible. Well, turns out, I was wrong. The very next day after I posted that video, a friend of mine by the name of Archie Coffee pointed out that he had in fact beaten jungle in 55 seconds. And for a while I could not figure out how he did it. As it happens, I was actually beating that level at the same time as Archie. Let me explain. The editing software that I use was measuring video clips in minutes, seconds and frames, not tenths of a second. So that 0.01 was actually one frame. Basically the software was rounding up. The actual time was 55.9 seconds. And just for the record, for all of the stages we'll be talking about, I have converted frame counts to decimal times to eliminate any confusion. Now this is the shortest stage in the game and I calculated a time of 49.25 seconds. And nobody had a problem with that, so let's move on. This was the last video I made because I wanted to take a different approach to it than I had with the rest of the series. I really wanted to delve into the history of the stage. And this is why it took so long to research. My final time? 56.41 seconds. This is the first of only three stages to take over a minute to finish. Assuming a double glitch, the time I calculated was 1 minute 21.66 seconds. Another stage no one seemed to have a problem with. It's the longest stage in the game with a time of 1 minute 32 seconds. Did you know that this stage actually has two leaps of faith? Well, I certainly didn't. The first one's where you'd expect. But the second one removes the need to duck for that second turret. The initial time I calculated was 59.7 seconds. If you remove the duck I did, the time becomes 59.53 seconds. Hangar is definitely the most RNG heavy stage, and that makes it difficult to time, but the time I calculated was 1 minute and 5.15 seconds. This is the final stage in the game for which I calculated a time of 54.11 seconds unless someone figures out a way to kill the alien's head in three jumps. Now you might think that all we have to do is add up all those numbers on the screen to get our final time. But we're still missing loading times between stages. What's interesting here is that loading times are different for each stage, which makes sense when you think about it considering that all stages are different lengths. Oh and don't forget that we don't count jungle's loading time on the run. That's why that number is missing. Now if we add all this up, we get a final time of 9 minutes and 39.86 seconds. Now please feel free to correct my maths, it never was my strongest subject, but I do believe that assuming perfect RNG, perfect troll spawns and perfect skills, 
that it is physically possible to sub 9 minutes and 40 seconds. In fact, I'm confident enough that I'm going to call it right now. Someone will someday sub 9 minutes 40 seconds. When I started this series, I was really hoping to end with a sub 945. The fact that we shaved 8 seconds off the world record is frankly amazing. But we need to remember that this is not the end. We could still discover new strategies that could bring the time down even more. I want the videos I make to encourage people to keep searching for new strats and glitches, because you never know what you might find. I'd like to end this video by thanking the following speedrunners and good friends. This series would not have been possible without your support and knowledge. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and remember, don't stop shooting.